Pink ladies, T-Birds, just happen to be watching some of my shit. My name is Jimmy Pink, and welcome to the club, purse first. channel my name is Jimmy Pink for those of y'all that may be new to my channel y'all know I've been having a fucked up couple weeks so I, I am off honey I am having a couple of fucking drinks and I am here for the gag that is RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars Season 4 Episode 7 okay for those of y'all new to this channel I assume that you watched the episode. I don't go on order. I go from my heart. And right now my heart is telling me that lip sync was bullshit. Sorry about it. I'm sorry about it. Now, for any of you guys that know me, y'all know I live and breathe Latrice Royale. But maybe I need to rewatch it. Because the lip sync was so boring. And maybe I need to rewatch it. But I was more entertained by Trinity. Sorry about it. You give me an 80's. Fucking new wave. Fucking classic. Like you spin me right round baby right round. Yeah. Like no 80's costumes. Let's reach you and play it straight. Now I feel like I see the narrative. You know what I'm saying? Because I live for Latrice Real. I do it. I know that's not a song that she would usually do. And I know that Trinity went a weird way about it. But Trinity was much more entertaining to me. At least it was funny. It is 80s camp at its highest. And Latrice chose to play it straight, but you weren't giving me what I need. The lip sync I got last week, I wanted that again this week. What happened to I'm going to do whatever I got to do to stay. Okay, you rolled around on the ground, and so what? Sorry about it. I'm sorry about it. Also, let's talk about the narrative. Valentina just happened to go home. Right before Rent is about to premiere on Sunday. Because we've been getting all of the advertisements for it. And she just happens to go home. You want to see more of Valentina? She'll be here Sunday, boo. You can watch Rent, which I am reviewing, by the way. And before I go any further, can we talk about the fact that I actually pulled off a fucking plastic look? I know you want to talk about drag race, but like this is the most fully realized I had to do everything, not really a basis costume I've ever done. So I'm going to accept my props for the fact that I pulled off a fucking plastic look. These are, this is a tablecloth fucking bubble skirt. These are fucking doggy bags attached to a fucking bra. The bow and everything is tablecloth like bitch, I am fully in fucking plastic. And not to toot my own horn, but beep beep, motherfucker, and I will take my fucking props for that. And I am going to point out that this is the most complicated look this season that I've done. Giving you the kawaii, giving you the plastic, giving you the real Barbie girl. So let's talk about the runway. Bitch, Michelle Visage was in rare form. When she had read Valentina and said, why did you choose to do your snatch game character as your plastic character, bitch? Michelle Visage was on tonight. Oh, she was. She was on tonight. She was putting her full pussy out there since Suzanne Barge was there. She was out there putting her pull, full pussy out there. Because Michelle was reading the girls for filth. Now, since we're going to talk about the runway, can we talk about these looks? Can I get into my notes? Can I get into my zhuzh? 
Um, I've noticed that I keep saying like I don't have a format, but it seems like I go backward because whatever is fresh is in my mind, and then I go backward. So let's talk about this runway. First of all, Latrice motherfucking Royale. I love the look. I honestly, the look that I have on, I was going to order latex and I didn't think that counted. I was going to order a latex dress and I didn't think that counted. Thank you to my Patreon patrons and the people on my PayPal as well because you guys did buy that color block dress that I had on for that. And um, I was going to um, take some money and buy a vinyl dress, but I didn't think that counted. So I'm still questionable about that. But I loved the look. That look was everything. And that long ass anal bead fucking ponytail. Bitch, yes, ma'am. And that's something we haven't seen from Latrice. So I was here for it. Can we talk about Manila's fruit basket realness? See, this is the shit. That I miss seeing from Manila. She's so good at doing a themed costume. And she's so good at doing a theme and being campy. And still being couture. Like, I honestly, I, and Latrice Slay. No shade to Latrice. But I really think Manila will be my top two. That was a shoot to me. The way the plastic wrap was going. The bow matched the bow on the fruit basket on the head. With the Josephine... Baker haircut, and since we're going to talk about Josephine Baker, let me skip and go ahead to Monique. I got the reference right away. I got the reference right away. Shout out to Maddie Rance because I was in his live. And he caught the reference right away too. I mean, it was an obvious reference and I see like an updated Josephine Baker. But I really didn't care for the execution. And I'm here for Monique. Y'all know I love the ooh ah ah sensation. Because I'm feeling my ooh ah ah sensation. Again. Not to toot my own horn. But beep beep. This is one of my favorite looks I've ever done. It is like so kawaii. It is so the traditional J pink colors. For those of y'all that rocked with me from the beginning. Y'all know like the Jimmy Pink test screen that comes up for everything used to be this very pink purple and blue thing I'm filling my fantasy and the best part is I didn't have to fuck a cinch I'm living my best love this see I've been drinking I've been drinking I'm living my best life I ain't going back and forth with you bitches I'm living my best life right now in this costume but Monique, I just got to go back to Monique. The see-through, and I agree with the judges, the see-through flat bananas, like I knew what she was going for. And obviously that's the influence of hers because I feel like she was also going with that with her angelic white, like very Josephine Baker, but where that was executed a lot better, this, no ma'am. No ma'am. Um, since we're talking about Team Momo, Let's talk about Monet Exchange, which I loved her plastic outfit. First of all, if we're going to have a challenge, I need to look at your costume and know that's what the challenge was. And that was plastic. The undergarment was a little bit too dark, but I will let it slide because the rest of the garment was phenomenal. That wig, bitch, I would have rather had that wig on tonight with this bow on it. That wig with that pink, with that swirl of blue coming through it. Monet Exchange was like, if I make it to said point in the competition, I'm going to show y'all bitches I did spend some coin on my costumes. And I live for it. That gladiator with that motherfucking furniture cover plastic. Oh yeah, because they sell that at the fucking fabric store. I know what plastic she got. Because before I knew what my look was going to be, I was going to go get that plastic. I was going to do a clearer plastic look. But the thing about it that I like is that when you're doing a plastic challenge, her costume was clearly plastic. And I love that. That's why I love Manila so much. It was clearly the challenge. And I enjoy that so much. 
Well, since we've talked about Latrella, let's talk about hashtag Team Mature and let's get into Trinity the Tuck. You was a piece of chewed up bubble gum. And they lived for it. And it, and it wasn't bad. And it wasn't bad. It was not a bad costume. It really wasn't. She looks great. She had on pink. You know, that's my color. But I was just like, if you're going to do a plastic runway, why would you choose to look like a piece of chewed up gum or a paint splatter? I didn't get it. It was a great costume. No, no, no disrespect. I, and I got chewed up bubble gum right away. But again, I'm going to favor the people whose costume was really giving me plastic. So I'm just going to favor that more. And that costume for that. Like if it would have been a pink challenge and she came out as a chewed up piece of gum, I'd have been like, bitch! Work! Or if it would have been like a food challenge and like Manila had on a spaghetti dress. And then she'd have had that on like I'm a chewed up piece of gum. But as a plastic challenge, I wasn't in love with it. I'm just going to be honest. Now let's talk about our bottom two. <sighs> Valentina. Which I touched on a little bit. So I guess we'll start with her and then we'll finish off with Naomi. Um, it didn't read very plastic to me. It read more lingerie. I get that you were coming out being like this pageant Miss Venezuela Barbie doll. But I'm like, and I live for the, the, the skirt was up and you could tell that it was like that Barbie doll, not anatomically correct thing. And I live for that. The problem with it was, I wish that would have been a reveal. That there would have been a gown and then you'd have pulled that up. Because I think that would have been more effective. Like, say that was a plastic gown. And then she pulls it up and shows she wasn't anatomically correct after doing all that. It may have worked better. The look itself did read plastic. I'm with Michelle Visage. You're back to doing a Latina queen. It just, I, I see what she was trying to do, but like, you not know Trixie Mattel. You understand what I'm saying about like that one? I don't know if y'all guys remember Trixie Mattel's season when they had to do the new challenge. She had like the bolts on her body and shit like really showing that she was a Barbie doll. And she had like the parts drawn on where she was plastic and she had on like the plastic, um, visor and outfit but she was like the new illusion Valentina even though in that makeup bitch she was fucking painted for fucking filth but there was a disconnect and then Naomi I'm gonna just keep it a buck with y'all I don't even remember what Naomi had on I don't even remember what Naomi had on I'm gonna just keep it a buck with y'all um, excuse the cut. I'm going to need a restaurant break. Time out. Time back in. Let me just let y'all know, if I ever go to DragCon, I'm either wearing this or I'm making another one. It seems like plastic would be, like, super, super hot. This is, like, literally the most easy, breezy costume I've ever worn. If I ever come to DragCon, I may have to figure out a way to make it longer so I can wear flats so I can last all day, but this is it, bitch. Anyway, I don't even remember what Naomi had on. And that's probably, like, really bad. Um, a couple things I want to say about Latrice. Latrice, once she got in the bottom, realized how hard it was. And I really hope that that gives her an idea of what Monique felt like to send somebody home that was her idol based on track record. And I'm not mad when Trinity said, like, Latrice is not giving me what I know Latrice is. But, in the challenge, 
Latrice showed me all of the Latrice that Latrice is as a businesswoman, as a promoter. And Manila Luzon gave me all of the I'm a graphic designer. Like that sketching out, bitch. Do y'all understand it? But that's what my degree is in. My degree is drafting and design with a specialization on multimedia. What that basically means is, is I'm a graphic designer. Which is why I love Manila so much because she does like these theme things that I could think of, but she has the coin to execute it. I knew this was their challenge to lose because I knew Manila was going to have that vision. Where I'm disappointed at is that Manila's hosting skills were suspect. Now her drawing everything out, the design of the club, the everything being about bees was everything. That is a club I would like to go to. But her hosting where she was like making fun of the bee puns. The bee puns in itself for a promo was the joke enough. That was too much and her doing that crazy. Like people live for her MacArthur Park lip sync. I hated her MacArthur Park lip sync. Let me keep it a buck with you. I hated it because MacArthur Park is actually a very emotional song and all that. Sometimes it's too much for some songs. And I understand that you're not picking the songs. You're not picking everything. But I knew when they said Beehive, I knew when Trini was like, I got a black and yellow costume. You got a black and yellow costume. Of course, Manila has a black and yellow costume. Latrice doing the Beehive. They put the bees. Where the fuck did they get goddamn beekeeper hats? Like, I just want to know how much of the budget did y'all spend on this fucking concept because those clubs look fucking amazing how much money did y'all spend on this because that beehive and what was in there phenomenal Mo and Mo's motherfucking alien club where the fuck y'all get an incubator from was there like a list of shit that y'all could say you, if you need this pick it cause like Bitch, if all the budget was spent on this, I know why the fuck the motherfucking season 11 trailer looked like what it looked like. Because y'all spent all your money on this. In the hive, there was beekeeper costumes and graphics to show bees flying around. And then for fucking Club Momo, like that shit was everything. Y'all had to pay for pay and... Whatever you want to put in. Where the fuck did the incubator come from? Where the fuck did the incubator come from? And let us... Because I honestly, to be fair, aesthetic wise, the club I would want to go to would have been Club Hive. Based on the hosting... If I was tipsy like I am now and I wanted to go somewhere, Manila would have got on my goddamn nerves. And I would have rather been at Club Momo. Because they was just having a good old kiki. It seemed very natural for them. And that was fun. In the stupidest way possible, like Michelle, Michelle said. I would have rather been there. But Club 96... Excuse me. Excuse me. Club 96 was Fashion Cafe. New message is received from 40404. Fucking Twitter. Anyway, Club 96 was Fashion Cafe. And if it was supposed to be a pastiche, it wasn't enough for one. God damn it, I got to take us. I'm sorry. We're going to push through because I'm not re-recording this. Um, I'm not sure if it was a pastiche, if it was a parody, if they were serious. I don't know. And then they had like these lines that they weren't together on. And yeah, Valentina, shut the fuck up. Valentina probably should have been... New message is received from 40404. Valentina probably should have been in the bottom. I'm going to just keep it a buck. 
Valentina probably should have been in the bottom. I'm going to just keep it a buck. Because when they were actually trying to get the shit done, you still just trying to be the star of the show wearing like heels and a fucking waist center and yo know, beret and shit and offer Naomi to wear the same thing. And Naomi is like, um, no, we need to get this shit together. Naomi wrote the script. The script was rhyming. The script wasn't bad. Y'all just didn't have the concept nailed down. And a lot of that was Valentina's fault. And that's why Valentina had to go. And I'm going to keep it all the way up. But Valentina got on my goddamn nerves. One thing I will say about that club that I thought was cute. When they had the tall, long, skinny drinks. Like, where did they get all these glasses from? Did y'all spend all the budget on All Stars? And that's why we got this fucked up ass promo. Because where did y'all get this shit from? The long, tall, skinny drinks with a drop of Eminem, the ridiculous writer, refresher. That was everything. But I know Naomi wrote that because Valentina would have never wrote that about herself. That was fantastic. But where did y'all even get them long, tall glasses? Like, see, you could have took less budget from this goddamn episode and we could have just had a regular fucking designer dress episode and a decent goddamn trailer for season 11. And that two-hour bullshit, I'm sorry. I got a review about that. I'll look at the end of that. I ain't going to get into that bullshit. But at the end of the day, Latrice wanted to prove she deserved to be there. And in the challenge, she did absolutely that. And that lip sync was fucking terrible. That was a boring lip sync between her and Trinity. If you, producers, if you really wanted to have some drama, you could have at least had it Manila and Latrice. But one thing I will say is, as somebody that is participating in a reality show right now, which is why y'all are not getting the videos as fast or as often as possible, because I'm doing my own reality show that will be premiering on YouTube, and I will let you guys know. And I'll be doing reviews for that too. But the thing is, if you really wanted that drama like that, The top should have been Manila and Latrice for the drama. And quite honestly, Latrice Slade, Trinity to me was okay. Manila was questionable. I think you probably couldn't do that because Monique and Monet actually did such a good job playing off of each other. But y'all want Latrice to go home. I personally think Manila. I personally think Team Momo won, but their runways weren't up to par. Monet's was, Monique's wasn't. And usually I do a first look review, but I didn't do it this week because I had to do with this reality competition. That will not happen again. Let me let you know that. But we also had. The reveal. So I still feel like I gave y'all two videos for drag this week. It won't happen again. But. To me. Monique and Monet won. I'm just being honest. For an overall experience. Host and everything. I would have hands down rather gone. To Momo's Club. I would much rather went to the Black Hole. But thank you so much for watching. I want to thank each and every one of you. I want to thank everybody who's donated to my PayPal, my Patreon, my live streams. You know, even though I haven't been doing them because I'm doing this reality show. Mama is alright. TT is okay. And Auntie is just doing fine. So don't you cry for me, Valentina. I still gave you this. And I gave you this fucking plastic. Look, I did the fucking plastic challenge, bitch. I'm proud of myself. So thank you so much for watching. If you would like to support this channel. Continue to keep me in the higher level geesh that I have been doing this season. That's that PayPal. That's that Patreon. And also follow me on Instagram. You want to see the look in full. The look in full is always posted to Instagram. It's always posted to Twitter. So follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well. And as above, so below, all of those links are down there as well. And while you're down there, like, subscribe, comment. I may not be in the most timely manner, but I respond to every single comment that's posted on my videos. So if you want me to know something, if you want to kiki, if you need to share something with me, I'm here. Do that shit down there too. Now, 
when I get done with this, I gotta go do some more shit for this goddamn reality show. Bitch is crazy. But when I tell y'all, the only thing I can tell y'all is I'm allowed to tell y'all that I'm doing it. But I can't tell y'all what's going on. But baby, when I tell you, bitch, when I tell you, it's drama every goddamn second. And I cannot wait for y'all to see this shit when it premieres in the spring. Bitch, I'm going to keep reminding you because this is some shit y'all going to want to see. It's been messy, action-packed, and I'm sorry that it's taken me away from my loves and people that I know fucking give a shit about me. But, bitch, I came on to get more YouTube viewers, and I stayed to motherfucking play because it gets on my nerves sometimes because these motherfuckers ain't got no life, but I live for it. I'm kicking ass. I've met some people that are kicking ass. And it goes down. And trust me. It's probably going to come out right after like season 11 is fucking finished. So I'm going to have some more shit for y'all to see. But I thank y'all for rocking with me. Keep it crazy. Deuces. What all these niggas like? Girl's best friend, right? Rent 10, 10, right? Haunted by my past, same shit, different ass like Scooby Dooby Doo. Where are you? But I spotted you out like Spud McKenzie. Figured out the game like the Bloodhound Gang. I thought you was my friend, you broke my heart again. What a game done switched. If you a dog, I'm a bitch.